Hey guys, it's Karima and welcome back to another video. So we are finally jumping into this backyard patio makeover. I'm starting the video out showing you how it looks. The grass is overgrown, the weeds are overgrown, and it's pretty bare. But we had a lot of fun doing DIY projects for the patio and transforming it and making it a more enjoyable space for myself and my family. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you get some really fun ideas for your own backyard. Everything we did was super affordable and budget friendly. So you'll see where we got everything from and how much everything cost me. Also, I hope you guys really enjoyed the new intro style. I just wanted to show you how I've been spending my time going on walks, hanging out by the pool and just enjoying time with the family. Make a name for generations, please, and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. So, I was inspired by so many YouTubers when doing my backyard patio, and my husband and I decided to do a DIY bar. I have to shout them out. I was inspired by Loving Life as Megan and Siobhan Melanie here on YouTube. They did a DIY bar in their backyards and patios and I thought it came out so beautifully. So they are definitely inspiration for this video or this particular piece that we are making here. And I will definitely leave their videos and their channels in the description bar below because I got so much inspiration from them. But basically we just got three wood planks from Home Depot. I think they were less than $10 a piece. I can't remember exactly, but they do have finished finish edges so they were a little bit more expensive and I am staining them with this dark walnut stain it came out so pretty you guys you're gonna see the finished look in a minute but I was so in love And just so you guys know, my husband glued the three pieces together with wood glue and we let that dry overnight. Sorry for the lighting change guys. I had to move the table in the garage and close the door because we were getting the lawn mow. The lawn mowers had just shown up and they were going to be blowing grass and I really didn't want to get any grass blown onto my brand new tabletop and get it stuck while I was painting and sealing it. But don't worry, this is a pretty short clip. We'll be right back outside in a second. Also, here's a little tip. It may be common sense to some, but if you're new to doing DIYs, wear gloves while you're using stain. I just had on one gloves because I was wiping it off with that hand, but I had got stain all over my hand before I put the gloves on, and it's not the easiest thing to get off. I did get it off with a little bit of olive oil, but to avoid all the mess, just wear gloves. So now we're moving on to the base of the bar and this is what we use to glue the cement pavers together. We got these pavers from Home Depot. They were $1.58 for each one. So we spent about a total of $13 in total for those. And then we got some smaller pavers for the top part of the bar and those were 68 cent a piece and we spent about $8 on those.
I just wanted to show you guys up close what the fridge looks like. It is an outdoor fridge, a dual drawer, and the top shelf is a wine rack. It's got three racks that pull out. And the bottom is just a regular refrigerated drawer where we're gonna keep water bottles and juices for the kids. So as you can see, I don't have much seating area in my backyard. So now we're just clearing out the area because I wanted to add an additional seating area. This is just the kids sandbox. It was really heavy to move with all the sand in it. So we had to get the dollies. What do you call those things? Doolies, dollies to move it over and we're going to put it on this side and let that be the kids play area and over here i'm just going to clean it up and make a nice seating area for us to enjoy So the kids sandbox has been sitting in this same spot for about two and a half years now pretty much when we bought the house that's where we put it and never really moved it so the sand was pretty much stuck to the concrete so i'm just using the holes to kind of get that sand up we do have a power washer but the concrete really wasn't dirty it was just that one spot i had to take care of and the holes worked perfectly So I'm just putting this outdoor carpet down that I got from Burlington Coat Factory. I love this little outdoor rug. It's made of that like plastic material, but it looks so pretty. I started to put a regular rug down because it is so expensive, these rugs. But this rug was an eight by six foot rug for $25. As you can see, we have a pool and like a decent amount of grass. So we don't really have much of a patio to put a seating area. So I really wanted to define the space with the rug. The Anirondack chairs I got from Aldi. You guys, these chairs were $11.99 each. And these are the heavy duty ones. I don't know if you've ever seen a difference between the really lightweight ones that can kind of blow over in the wind and the heavy duty ones but these were the heavy duty ones for $11.99 we also got these garden stools from Aldi they were $20 each I actually did not buy them for this purpose here but they ended up working out perfectly as end tables for this seating area And the last thing we bought was a fire pit from Aldi. I say that with air quotes because it's actually a fire column, but it serves the purpose. It was on sale for 70 bucks. And if you guys look up fire pits, they're pretty pricey. So we got a really good deal with this fire column. The umbrella we already had, you can probably tell it's a little bleached out from the sun, but that is okay. It gets really hot here in Texas, so I wanted to have something in this area to give us shade when necessary. So here is the prog progress. Try to envision this painted. So obviously it's not gonna be all cemented like that, but this is what the bar will look like. I love how this came out with the stain and with the finish on it it looks so good so it is our ground here is a little uneven it kind of slopes down um you can probably tell so we're gonna have to put a little 
like half inch piece underneath this side to lift it up but it still looks so good yeah you can definitely see this slow so we'll lift it on that side and then attach it paint the size the sides and enjoy Sorry guys, I didn't show you the paint up close, but I am using chalk paint in the color Anvil Gray. I was going for a blue-gray tone color. It looks a lot more blue on camera because it's still wet, but when it's all done and it's dried, it has that blue, that bluish color with gray undertones and it came out perfectly. So here I'm just going to paint both sides of the base of the bar top and then we'll add the tabletop. So I want to talk about another channel here that really inspires me on YouTube and that is Ashley's channel from Till Vacuum Do Us Part. She talks about really loving your home and making your home your dream home and I was really inspired by that. There's so many things that we may want to change or we want differently in our lives and I will admit my husband and I even talked about buying a new house or moving somewhere different and I realized I love this house that we have here there's little things that I want to tweak but I just want to make this home my dream home so that is where a lot of these DIY projects came from we're just making our home our dream home So I'm just placing the tabletop on, like I mentioned before, we do have a slight slope. So we're trying different pieces of wood to see what will work to even it out. And then eventually my husband will attach the tabletop. I also wanted to share that I used spar urethane to seal the tabletop because at first I used polyurethane and there is a difference polyurethane is for sealing furniture that will be indoors and spar urethane is for sealing things that will be outdoors I learned something new during this DIY So this little table set we had for years, I wanna say we had this for about four or five years. We got this from Home Depot a while ago, so I really don't remember how much it cost, but we bought this all the way from New York. We used to keep this on our terrace in our apartment. I'm just adding some seat cushions that I got from Aldi. I had them in the house because I wanted to clean them off a bit. We bought them last year, so they are a little sun bleached as well, but it is an outdoor fabric, so they don't look bad and they go perfectly with the decor. So while I was putting the backyard together, the kids and my husband were in the pool enjoying themselves, so now I'm just cleaning up after them. So these are the pillows that I added to my new seating area on the other side of my patio but I am just taking them up now and spraying them with some scotch guard because they are not outdoor pillows they are not made out of outdoor fabrics but they were really inexpensive I got them for $12 for the set at Walmart and they match perfectly with the color scheme outdoor pillows are really expensive as well so I'm just going to use these indoor pillows Find me one day Oh I never knew that you would So 
let's talk a little bit more about this fridge. This is a new air dual drawer wine and beverage outdoor fridge and we love it so much. As you can see right now, I am stacking the wine in the drawer. My husband forgot to put the screws in, but he did put the screws in after the fact. But I am stacking it with drinks, which is perfect because when we are enjoying ourselves outside, we don't want to have to run back and forth inside the house to get drinks for the kids when we're eating out here, barbecuing or playing in the pool. And sometimes my husband and I like to just sit out and relax and hang out with each other and have a glass of wine so it is perfect for us this fridge is made of weather resistant stainless steel so you don't have to worry about it getting destroyed in the elements and if you were looking for something similar for your backyard i do have a link in the description box below just use the code guilt free mama for a discount So as you can see, I'm just adding some plants for extra decor and I do plan on adding a little trash can right next to the fridge. I didn't mention this before, but we already had the swing set. We bought that two years ago from Aldi. It was $40 and we also bought this little side table at the same time and it was $11. Having this fridge out here has come in handy so much. As you can see, the kids are already helping their self to their drink, so I'm restocking. But I love the fact that they're not in and out of the house because it's keeping the cool air in and the flies out. So here is the after of how the patio turned out. I do have a video coming out soon on all the details of my plants. I potted them myself. I talk about where I got the pots and how much they cost. But we kept it really simple but I loved how everything turned out. And like always it's a work in progress. So we didn't get to do every single thing we wanted to do. We do plan on planting flowers and starting a little garden in our backyard. But of course we have plenty of time to do so. You don't have to finish your entire project all at once. That can get pricey, but you save up for it and do it little by little. So I'm going to help myself to a little drink. I am having one of my Pellegrino sparkling waters in a wine glass. Yes, why not? And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I love my new outdoor space. I love the seating area. It's the perfect view for me to watch the kids in the pool and just watch them enjoy themselves. And I get to sit back, relax, and enjoy myself as well. I hope you guys love the decor and enjoyed the video i appreciate you guys so much for watching i love you so much and i'll see you in the next one